So today I'm up in my attic. We are having some water dripping again out of the secondary drain outside of our house. So I am going to run the endoscope that I have. It's a nice endoscope and it's got a end on it that you can articulate. So that way you can go through pipes that are curved like this. And I'm gonna see why it is going out the secondary drain because it wasn't very long ago that I cleaned out the primary drain. So we shouldn't be having this problem unless it's clogged up in the AC unit. And I don't wanna go cut all that open and retape it back up. Let's just run the endoscope in there and see what's going on. Well, as you can see, before I even got the endoscope in there, the primary drain does have water in it. So I'm not sure if it did build up again in the primary line. So this kind of makes me believe the primary line got clogged up again. So I'm going to go both directions to see what's going on. So it's kind of cool. You can see actually where the lighted end of the endoscope is. And you can see the endoscope going through that pipe. You can see the water is down there at the bottom and the opening going in. And so far, it looks pretty clear going this direction. I'm slowly working it in. As you can see, I'm moving in and I'm not really seeing a clog this direction. Now, this endoscope does articulate, so that's going to be very helpful to move it in the right direction to get into this pipe hole here. You've got to work them. But as you can see, I articulated it and I was able to take that corner without any problem at all because I was able to articulate that using this knob. But I don't see any clogs this direction. So this is telling me that my primary line is just getting clogged up for some reason and keeps going to the secondary which is a little crazy because I do clean it out. So let me go the other direction, find out why the primary is clogged. Well, I had to run the snake pretty far down the pipe, but I found my clog. There is, it looks like a T connection down there that is hanging up and grabbing things and letting things store. It was pretty clear until I started pushing and now I've got this just garbled look here, which means the camera got pushed into something you know, pretty nasty that was holding it up. So I'm going to go ahead now and pull the snake out and I'm going to put me a metal snake down there to try to clean out that clog. But this is how I use my endoscope when I'm looking down pipelines, things like that, to try to figure out, is there a clog? Is there hair? You know, what's in there? And it usually does a great job at telling me what I'm dealing with. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you would do that, that really helps us out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.